Now I have an ultrasonic sensor hooked up to the KittenBot IO bit, which is an extension expansion board for the micro bit. Now, this is the, another reason why you need an extension board is this ultrasonic sensor requires five volts. So I need a panel that does five volts. The micro bit itself will only do three volts. So this is nice in that it has uh, a, three five volt pins and three grounds right next to it. And a power coming in from a battery pack. And this knife has the on off switch. So one flaw with my battery pack is it's gonna go off if uh, I'm not calling upon it. So I just have a little simple code in here. If I get within 10 centimeters, just play a tone. Now we could, that's just a trigger for something. I could have had the code say, um, hook up some LEDs and make some lights go on or hook up a servo and say, hey, if I come within 10 centimeters, make this servo spin. It, it, it's again, it's just a trigger for something. Um, I have, there are four connectors and one has to go to ground, echo, trigger, and voltage. And you just gotta know which one you're going to which. Trigger and echo are important because that is in the code. I've got trigger on five and echo on eight, just because that seems to always be the, that's the default of one of the blocks that I use here. And again, this needs five volts. So I gotta plug it in here down at the five volt center. Um, might look a little messy with the wires. It's actually more designed to be plugged in, connected with uh, a Grove, into a Grove port, which is this nice little simple connector. Um, these four go on here, and then this plugs into a Grove port that's on a board. Um, but this doesn't come with a Grove port, which is okay, because you just gotta plug them into the right places. The Grove port just happens to be designed that one of the pins goes to five and one of the pins goes to eight. And one goes to voltage and one goes to ground. So um, you do need to get an extension with some blocks for the ultrasonic device. Um, and again, I got the maker bit extension and use the ultrasonic blocks that come with it. So here's maker bit, you know. The ultrasonic blocks you see I have to use two I actually have to tell it I've connected an ultrasonic distance detector sensor trigger at p5 and p8 so with those being drop down boxes I'm assuming I can change to uh, whatever pins I want to use and then I've got to use um, that part for the if and then this is just for if you want to do some more math with it kind of thing and then just some little code first start by connecting the ultrasonic uh, sensor and then if distance is less than 10 centimeters we could put inches I could put any number in I just told him to play a middle C um, again whatever goes whatever that red is that could be you know turn on some lights turn on some servos whatever within your if but again you need to go up to extensions and get, I went up here to extensions. I keep forgetting to do that. And um, I got the maker bit by typing in maker bit. There actually is a sonar extension there. Let's see what it pops up with. Sonar right here, which is basically the same. It doesn't give you as, as simple and as easy. It doesn't give you multiple um, blocks. You gotta kind of build the block. But again, there's a trigger and there's an echo. And what units are you in? I like the maker bit blocks. So there is hooking up a uh, ultrasonic distance sensor.